Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a tutorial on U Layer Hair. I'm going to be reviewing three body wave bundles and a frontal. I'm also going to be making this into a unit. All the links are 22 and the frontal is a 20. For the most part, I must say this hair is absolutely beautiful. It has very minimal shedding at all. It was nice and shiny. The color is like a natural uh, brown. It was kind of like a four, but as you can see, the hair is beautiful. This is it in its natural state after me making it into a unit. So the tutorial that I'm going to be doing today is just showing you guys how to crochet string into braids because that's like really big right now. I haven't done it yet, so I wanted to go ahead and do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first part the hair off, make two braids, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to crochet the string into your braids. So the hair, I mean, excuse me, the string that I got, you can pretty much get string from anywhere. I'm using string that I found from Walmart, but you can go to like Michael's or Joann's or anything. This is some hemp cord. It comes in a whole bunch of colors. I got the basic colors. But basically what you want to do is just grab the string, pull it so it's kind of like a shoestring where you have two pieces and then you're literally just going to crisscross them into an X grab by grabbing it with your crochet hook. So you're going to see me repeat this. I'm going to have one going fast and one going slow. It's really, really simple. And if you really want to get creative, you can even do different designs. You can do this on just one braid by itself instead of crisscrossing it in between two. But I wanted to crisscross it in between the two braids. But I have seen people do this same technique on just one braid. You can also do this same technique on locks. Um, which I'm probably going to do next because I will be having a lock tutorial soon and I'm going to also be styling them and um, customizing them. But yeah, so basically that's all you do. And what I'm going to do is once I get towards the bottom, I'm just going to wrap it around and tie it in a knot. But I'm going to use as much as the string as I can, crocheting the braids together until I basically run out of string and then I'm just going to wrap it around and tie it into a knot and then I'm going to make a little top bun and we're going to go ahead and get to the styling so stay tuned Okay, so now I styled it. I just wand curled it. I didn't want to show me wand curling it because it was going to take forever. But I did kind of do big wand curls. They were kind of big, kind of small. But I did um do a little bit of hairspray while I was curling it so it would stay. And then I took each individual curls and I separated it, as you can see, because I wanted it to be big. So if you want it to be big... Don't really finger comb it because it will clump all the curls together. If you want big um, hair with a lot of volume, definitely take each curl and separate it. It would help a little bit more if I would have had a little bit of oil in my hands, but I really wasn't worried about it. I probably will go back tomorrow, um, take these braids down, and curl the top so you guys can see how pretty these curls are. This hair is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this hair, y'all. This is you layer hair. Um, the curl stayed for days. Um, my first time using this hair, I did do pin curls and that stayed for days. But the frontal was so thick, I had to literally pluck out so much hair, which is not a bad thing. I'd rather have more hair to pluck out than not a lot of hair. But I do give this hair a 10 out of 10. If you want to see more pictures, check out my Instagram tomorrow because I will be curling the top of this hair. But thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Check out the description box for more details. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake